What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to take a look at how to clean up our Note 8 from pre-installed software. This is an unlocked model so it is nowhere near as bad as the carrier versions. Uh, my S8 is an AT&T model and if you go look at my old videos you see when I cleaned that one up there was a ton of AT&T crap on it that I had to disable and uninstall and stuff. So there's not much on this model. I'm just going to walk you through the steps of how to do it. But this should work for any version on any carrier, Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, what have you. Um, and, and the way you, you disable or remove apps is pretty simple. All you do is open up your app drawer and then find an app you don't want on your phone. So in, in this case, let's say Facebook, long press on that. And some apps you can't uninstall, but you can disable them. So select disable. And then hit disable. It gets it off of your app screen. And if I go into the settings, and I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like now. So if you select disabled, it's here. And so it is not going to allow it to run. You see notifications are blocked. It's got no permissions. And it effectively kills the app from doing anything on your phone other than taking up a little bit of space. Uh, but that's better than, you know, having it there when you don't want it. And again, as you saw, it gets it off of your uh, app drawer as well. Some apps that are pre-installed, you can completely uninstall. So, for example, this Samsung Plus, if I long press on it, it actually says uninstall on it. Um, one of the ones I, I don't use, Samsung Health, so if I long press on that, uninstall. Do you want to uninstall this app? Hit OK. And then it's gone. And if I go into Settings and show you apps, it is completely gone. So if I go to Disabled, it's not going to show up there. If I go to All Apps, Samsung Health, is just it's just not there at all. Um, unfortunately, some apps you just can't do anything with, like disable or uninstall, like the browser, for example. I prefer Chrome, uh, but if you long press on this, you see disable is grayed out. If I go to App Info, I can't disable it here. Uh, I can force stop it. I can get rid of notifications, um, turn off notifications. I can remove permissions from it. Um, so I can do all of that, but that's not going to get rid of it completely. Um, if you want to get rid of it completely, or rather hide it, um, you're going to need a custom launcher, and I'll cover that in a separate video, but you can at least do that. So that's app info, and then permissions, get rid of all its permissions, and then notifications, turn that off too, so it can't notify you of anything. And like I said, I prefer Chrome, and so that's why I turn all this stuff off for the inter Samsung Internet Browser, and then Chrome is my default browser. Again, this is an unlocked model. It's not too bad with pre-installed stuff. On the carrier models, you're going to be able to uninstall or disable a lot of the pre-installed garbage from AT&T, from Verizon, from Sprint. And so that's how you do that pretty quickly and easily. Like I said, uh, hiding this will require something like a custom launcher. I'll cover that in another video. So make sure to stay tuned uh, if you want to see that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, take care.